Hi everyone, I'm here to show you how to make a mask for your woodwind instrument. With the return to uh, in-person indoor instruction, this is something we're all going to need to do. Let's start by talking about the flute. When we play, most of the air is escaping this way, away from the flute. So flute players, all you're going to need to do is wear a normal mask and put the flute inside the mask. Might require a little bit of adjustment and that's fine, but you can play. Now if you're a oboe, clarinet, or a saxophone player, your mask will need a slit cut into it. So the first thing you would do is put on your mask and then you may need someone to help you with this next step. You would put your instrument into playing position and see where exactly you would put the slit in your mask. And then once you do that, it's simply a matter of getting uh, a pair of really sharp scissors or a hobby knife or exacto knife like this and just making a very small slit in the mask. Now, you could use a disposable mask for this or if you have a cloth mask like this, you could put that slit in the mask. Of course, to um, make it more durable, you could do uh, a simple running stitch like this. Or, if you know how, you could even do a buttonhole stitch like this. So these masks are only going to be used for band anytime we're inside. You would not want to use them for any other classes. Now I want to turn it over to Mr. Gittleman, who is going to talk about masks for brass players and percussionists. Take care, everybody. Hey, folks, Mr. Gittleman here. Today I'll be talking about making masks for brass or percussion. Let's start with brass player masks. The first thing you'll need is your mouthpiece and a cloth or disposable mask. Spread out the center of the mask so the folds don't get in the way of your drawing. You're going to need to take a pen and trace the outline of the bottom of your mouthpiece onto the mask like I've done. When you're done, you'll have a circle like this. Fold the mask in half, then take a pair of scissors and cut out the circle. After you cut the hole, you should have a mouthpiece sized hole in your mask like this. You can test it out by taking your mouthpiece or your full instrument and putting it up to your face. The idea is that the mask collects the excess droplets that might have come out of the side of your mouth while our band cover that is on the end of your instrument will catch any droplets or aerosols coming out of the end of your instrument. If you're a percussionist, good news! You don't need to make any changes to your mask. Just wear your normal mask. Remember that these masks are not only to be used for band class. I would recommend keeping them in your instrument case or keeping them with you in your backpack so you have them when you need them. I generally have two just in case one breaks. If you have any questions, Please send me an email and let me or Mr. Hart know. Thank you and have a great day.